In our interview segment, Mr. Kefas Magaji talks about the laws of the Federation. Mr. Kefas Magaji, thank you for joining us on the program. Thank you. Now, the core mandate of your commission, the Nigerian Law Reform Commission, expectedly, is to review federal laws, at least one of them. Now, when was the last time you carried out this function? Well, with respect to law reform, that is what we do almost every year. Because every year we pick one, two, three laws and we reform them. And the laws that we always, if you look at the, the law establishing the Nigerian Law Reform Commission, it mandates or it provides that the Attorney General can refer laws to the Commission for reform or the Commission can, of its own initiative, identify laws for reform. And it also empowers the Commission to reform laws that states or group of states would want to refer to the Commission for reform. Now, in the Commission, what we do because of our budget system, every year, either the Attorney General will refer some laws to the Commission for reform, or the Commission of our own initiative we study the thinking of the government part time to identify what are those laws that will enhance the program of government per period. We identify those laws and we now engage in the reform. Let's yes. talk about this approval you got from the federal government to review laws of the Federation 2004. Where are we on that? By convention, law revision exercise should be conducted after every 10 years. And what you do in law revision exercise is that when you enact a law, it is expected that after 10 years, there could have been some changes in terms of amendments or so to a particular law. After 10 years, you harmonize these different amendments that have been made. You know, oftentimes, if you have had an opportunity of seeing an amendment legislation, it is just the section that is being amended that is produced. They don't reproduce the entire law but just the amendment section. So it is expected that after 10 years, possibly a particular law could have been amended two, three times. So if you want to make use of a law, if you pick the law, you wouldn't know whether the version that you have, the text that you have, contains this amendment. You wouldn't know whether there has been amendments or there have been no amendments. So in law revision exercise, what you do is you harmonize these entire amendments that have been made over a period so that you come up with one single text as the law of the Federation with respect, uh, as a law with respect to that particular subject. Hmm. The challenges we have in Nigeria today is that uh, government printers, which ought to be printing gazettes, no longer print these gazettes at a very stable times. So you, you have a particular law, and uh, you wouldn't know whether that law has been amended. You go to look for gazettes, you will not get gazettes now showing you whether there has been amendments or there has been no amendments. And Nigerians have had to resort to buying copies of laws from printers. If you are passing any of this uh, along the street, mm. along the major highway, major roads in Abuja, you now see people selling these laws. And there is no way of knowing how genuine those yes. copies are. Yes. Oftentimes you discover one, 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 a version that is printed by one company could have some slight difference with the one that is printed in another, in another law. And one thing so spectacular about law is that where the expression and is used or deleted in one law, it could change the meaning. Absolutely. And we don't have any place where you can now go and confirm whether what you have is the authentic copy or not an authentic copy. In carrying out this task, let me, you just mentioned how it will appear over time that the Office of the Attorney General would appear to have taken over what ordinarily should be your job. What is the level of collaboration between your commission and the Office of the Attorney General? Well, the, to be honest with you, the Office of the Attorney General has been quite helpful. We have, had, we have maintained a very good relationship. By law, they are our supervising ministry. And over time, we've had a wonderful relationship, particularly with the incumbent attorney general. He has given the commission a free hand and every support we have required of him, he has made it available to us. Let's look at the amendments or reforms that have been done since 1999, especially regarding electoral processes. 
uh, with the elections around the corner, what do you think of the existing electoral laws? The Electoral Act is one act that the National Assembly has over the years been amended. Indeed, the Attorney General has never referred that particular act to the Commission for Reform. The Commission have also not undertaken any reform, but the National Assembly have always taken up that law for, uh, w w with respect to, uh, to reforms to ensure that it tallies, because this is an area that touches on the hearts of the National Assembly. So the, the Nigerian Law Reform Commission has not really been directly involved in the reform or amendments of the Electoral Act. Well, there is somebody who is also worried about the laws in the Federal Capital Territory. The minister recently is calling for an urgent repeal of the existing laws. According to him, some of them need to conform with modern challenges of population in the FCT. That's what true. are your thoughts in this regard? Yes. Uh, two, about two years ago, we paid a courtesy call on the minister of the FCT. And uh, our interaction with them, with him he indicated that, well, he will engage the Nigerian Law Reform Commission with the legal department to sit down and look at the laws of FCT with a view to reform. And uh, that has not really been pursued. And I think, too, it, is, it might not be unconnected with... You see, if you, if you listen to the last budget, it was this year that the budget for last year was approved by the National Assembly. I'm sure it wouldn't be unconnected with the budget thing, but there has been that effort between the Nigerian Law Reform Commission and the Minister of FCT to now see how we can now look at the laws of FCT with a view of with a view to their entire reform. So we'll bring them in harmony with the present realities. If you look back, I mean, from since when this commission was set up till date, would you say you've been able to achieve your mandate? Have you delivered on that? By the act establishing the commission, when we reform a legislation, we now submit our report to the Attorney General it is the Attorney General who is now to submit the same to the Federal Executive Council before it goes to the National Assembly for enactment. The pride of every law reformer is that when he embarks on a reform, that reform should culminate into enactment, or that legislation should culminate into enactment. Most of the reforms we've done, they have always gone to the office of the Attorney General, and from there, they might not proceed to the Federal Executive Council. And that is one of the things that made the National Assembly. Currently, our law is before the National Assembly for amendment. And those are some of the things that the National Assembly now saw the need to amend our law so that if we submit our report to the Attorney General, if after six months the Attorney General does not act on it, they, we can now submit it to the National Assembly. They can now proceed to look at the merits or otherwise of the reform. And that is basically founded on one fact. It is with public funds that these reforms are done. And there is a need, therefore, for them to have an opportunity of looking at what we have done. Given all the necessary support, and as a reformer yourself, what laws of the Federation would you quickly, off the cuff, say you, they need to be reformed to meet modern challenges? Yes. You see, uh, let me say that oftentimes in law reform, what you need to do is each government that comes on board identify what are the priorities of government. Because, you see, we have so many laws. It is not all these laws that a government might need part time. So you identify the priorities of that government. When you now identify the priorities of, of, government, of government, then you now look at those laws that will enhance the performance of government. Because laws are meant to be I mean, to, to ensure that government functions and functions effectively. Mr. Kefos Magaji, Chairman, Nigerian Law Reform Commission, I must thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you, sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you, sir. I'll thank you for your mails and tweets, as always. I will take a few of them. Keep sending in your views and comments using the email address and Twitter handle on your screen. Also, be sure to share anything happening within your locality. Don't forget, you can view the program on youtube.com forward slash channels web slash videos. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm Ibrahim Adra. Have a happy new year.